as, as an outsider looking in, and forgive me if if I'm wrong in this, but I because I live in L.A. and I work in Orange County, so I see the vast differences. You know what I'm saying? There's a big difference, obviously. Um, but one thing I notice is that I never see dialysis centers in good neighborhoods. I always see dialysis centers in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Is it safe to say? And this is I'm asking you. I'm asking you because you're 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 in it. Is it most of our people that are uh, that that are that are on dialysis? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Bro. It's most of our people, right. huh? You know what? I ain't gonna even front you, bro. <laughs> because uh, when I when I like like I say, I'm a Cali baby, so I don't there's like a lot of places in Cali even been on dialysis and sometimes when i think it's um uh Cali- uh california valley or something like that like past the ie bro they had to send me to san bernardino to get dialysis and that was like maybe an hour maybe an hour and a half there and back you feel what i'm saying so yeah you're right about that uh just like in the hood you see majority of all the liquor stores the dispensaries yeah you're right yeah it, 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 it's, it's here. And they're there for a reason because that's the sign you need to pay attention to. You next. If you don't correct and stop the fuckery that you're doing the way you're doing it, you next. We got it right here for you. Either you're going to survive it or it's going to take you out. And listen, I'm telling you, this ain't this ain't no little boy guy right here. I'm on the most the most um, aggressive dialysis it is. You feel what I'm saying? You know, it's a lot of ways you can do it. You can even do it yourself at home. But your house got to be immaculate, and you need that moral support. So, like I say, God is my moral support. You know what I'm saying? God is getting me through it, getting us all through it that's on dialysis. Shout out to everybody that's on dialysis, that's fighting for their life. And, ain't hey, like, it's no greater sin, it's no greater sickness. So, shout out to everybody that's fighting for their life, whatever sickness you're going through, whatever discomfort, pain you're going through, that's know that God is your comfort, and, you know, that's really like, you know, stay prayed up, you know what I'm saying? Because if you hear and you fighting through it, you ever live to see another day, man, like you are super, truly blessed. Like I say, bro, it's people that I've been close to with the music or just close to going on dialysis that we, that's build a relationship, man. And I see you tomorrow and tomorrow I come, they ain't here. Uh. You know what I'm saying? So man, look, like I tell everybody, man, look, love somebody, hug somebody, care about somebody. Don't wait until that somebody 59, 69, 79 years old, and then they get sick and, you know, old time is not. Understand people what they go through. You, you know, sickness ain't got no age on it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to put your story out there. If you want people to know what you're going through or, you know, how to deal with you, put your story out there, man. It ain't no sympathy or empathy. I don't need none of that. I don't want none of that. I ain't looking for none of that. Never have been and never will be. But I want people to understand me, you know what I'm saying, to understand like, yo, you know, before this, you know what I'm saying, y'all know who I was. Y'all know what I was. You know, I wasn't nowhere this type of person, but to the new people that don't know me, they they put it to it like, bro, you disrespectful, bro. You whooped this, that, and that. Your body language, your, your facial expression, bro. Listen, I'm not trying to, like, bore you out with what I've been. I just got shot in the neck, bro. It went down, hit three ribs, and came out my back. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Like, I am in pain. It felt like a python is squeezing me at all times. My left arm is still paralyzed, kind of. Like, I never got no physical therapy, bro. California hospital that's made sure I could swallow and make sure I could walk. And then they gave me my walking paper. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. It was none of no, no therapy for my arm and none of that. I've been ther- doing my own therapy. So it, it's like I'm in consistent pain. And people are like, well, why do you come out if you're in pain? Because look, bro, I'm not about to sit down and let this, what I'm going through, depress me. You know what I'm saying? Worry me to the point where I don't feel like I'm regular. I can't do because of what I'm going through. Well, you know, a lot of people I have to back up from. A lot of people, that's backed up from me. And at the end of the day, I wish it won't be like that, but that's why I'm trying to do as much as I could do to put my story out there because it's like, yo, like I say, if it was your grandpappy going through this here or your grandmammy going through this here, you'd be very understanding to the situation. But because I'm young and you see me do this, see me do that, 
And then when it comes to a conversation or when it comes to me, you know what I'm saying, being high and being because I, I don't feel good, but I should walk around with a shirt saying, I don't feel good, leave me alone. I'm trying. My mama said, well, don't, what, 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 you know, nothing comes to a failure but a try. So I'm trying to sit up here and, no, fuck that. I ain't trying. I'm doing. I'm coping. Because like I say, bro, I, I go to dialysis. I see people on the machine. They look like mummies. You know what I'm saying? They, a lot of them, that's quiet. A lot of them, young, old, that's legs chopped off, fingers amputated. You know what I'm saying? Like all this that God is seeing me through giving me favor not to have my limbs amputated. You feel what I'm saying? I'm still able to walk. Sometimes it's hard, but I'm still able to do it. And what's hard to me, I'll push through it. Because like I say, what don't kill you make you stronger. And I thank God for making me strong because, like I say, man, this right here, <laughs> sheesh, ain't for no man. Like I say, that's why a lot of people give up on dialysis. You know what I'm saying? Recipe to um, my, my dad, one of my daddies, he just passed 2019. He was on dialysis for maybe like 10 years plus, mm. maybe 17 plus. And he just got fed up with it. He was only, what, 70, 72, 73? You feel what I'm saying? And I mean, like, he just got tired. And it's, it was sad because I was with him day to day, every day, when he got sick and lost all his motor skills, when he, when he got you know what I'm saying? All the time was he couldn't remember nothing. I mean, to the point where I had to, like, literally walk for him. Like, come on, move his legs to walk. Like, you know what I'm saying? That that was crazy. And so for me to go through dialysis to see that, and then rest in peace to my Ada, team, you know what I'm saying? When I was raised in Texas, I used to go to dialysis with her every other day. So to be raised in Texas, to go to, go to dialysis with my Ada every other day. And then to be grown and see one of my dads die from dialysis, it, 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 it's really like, bro, whew, it's like, it's scary. Because, like, tomorrow's not promised. The next minute ain't promised to me. I know we all going through it. But the fact of the matter is that at any given moment, my shit can stop working. At any given moment, it, 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 it just is what it is. My kidneys, is, 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 is the situation getting better? To me, no. You feel what I'm saying? The machine and prayer is the only thing that's keeping me alive right now. If I miss a day of dialysis, like truly, I'll get sick. I'll get swollen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To the point where I have to get rushed to the hospital. You feel what I'm saying? Once I'm rushed to the hospital, I'm in the hospital. They're trying to keep me there for like a week or two because it's, it's, it's like, you know, we're, we're supposed to be okay. That's the extra treatment to get the swollen off. Nah. That's an actual two treatments, two, three treatments. To, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's real bad. So, like I say, man, going through this, people don't really understand how, how it really plays and mess up your mind that's to be so young and going through something so intense. And then you done bend around people that done lost their life off of what you're going through now at a young age. And it's like, yo, bro, I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight with nobody. I want to get along. But it's like, I can't get alone because it's like, I'm always trying to defend myself or, or let people know about myself and like, yo, you got me messed up. That's not what it is. Like, I don't have no attitude with you, bro. I'm in pain. But yo, we, we chilling. We vibing. We out. We cooling. But you worry about everything, my facial expression and all that. They ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So, like I say, it done separated me from a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be wanting to go out and be amongst people, but it's like, you know what, bro? It's dialysis. They chill out. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, even, don't even do that to yourself because you already know the outcome that somebody take you wrong. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I just want people to understand, like, yo, get to know somebody's situation truly. Don't say you love somebody and you don't even want to do the research of what that person going through. If they going through something, but that's even on me, too. I ain't going to tell somebody I love them and not do the research of what they're going through. So I don't. So I need to know how to deal with you. I can't be with somebody and deal with you how I want to deal with you. That's not the reason to be with somebody. So, yeah. Yeah. Yo, I'm going to tell you, this is why I love doing my show. Um, I came into this interview with a bunch of other questions. We were going to talk about a lot of other stuff, but we spent the majority of the time talking about dialysis and health. And I think this happened for a reason. I'm a believer in 
bigger things and 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 this happened for a reason dog um because a lot of our people don't take care of their body at young ages man they're on that fucking hennessy and backwoods diet they don't drink water like people drink water you know how important it is. just fucking drink some water you know what i'm saying i know people who don't drink water they'll just drink juices and capri suns and shit and dog you gotta drink water you gotta care about what you put into your body you know what i'm saying so thank you literally from the bottom of my heart dog for sharing that story um and sharing your story and i'm really looking forward to your podcast um what i survived and dog just keep doing stuff homie just please keep putting stuff out there because like you said it could be a wrap at any second and you you could live you're going to live forever with this stuff you're putting out so thank you once again um tell everybody where they could find you and also please tell us what you got coming up if you want to promote anything the floor is yours man Okay, for sure. Well, first and foremost, I appreciate you, Dusty Vision Radio. You know what I'm saying for having me. Like seriously, I really do, Thank man. You. Like <clears throat> it's a it's a it's a great honor and a privilege. You know what I'm saying that we was able to meet. Um, shout out to you know Trey Avenue. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to TB. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to all my loved ones out there. You feel what I'm saying. Um, y'all can find me on social media, Instagram under T Y underscore F L Y underscore C A M P. That's T Y Fly Camp. Um, you can find my music on all streaming platforms under T Y Fly Camp. Um, shout out to Elite by Tasties. Everybody in Los Angeles, if you're looking for a grown place to come to Taco Tuesdays, please check us out. Elite by Tasties. Once again, that is Elite by Tasties with a Z. Um, Shout out to LG, the creator. We do have the Emergent Artist Tour going on right now. Uh, shout out to Seattle, Washington for having us at the Stone Lounge. Um, next city is San Antonio, Texas, 210. Um, that's where I really started my music career out, out there in San Antonio. That's where I dropped my first album, The Outcome One on One. So shout out to San Antonio, Texas. Shout out to the Epic Bar, the, the Rasta Bar. Very Young, Red Boy, Ethno RB, Black Eye, everybody in San Antonio, shout out. You feel what I'm saying? Um, new music dropping <clears throat> um, every day. I try to put out a song at least every day. You feel what I'm saying? Um, other than that, uh, the tour right now is really what we focus on. Um, but like I said, at Leak by Tasty, where you can find me and other artists at, you know what I'm saying, on Talk of Tuesdays. Um, Stated Friday, you know what I'm saying, Meditate Monday. We have a lot going on there. So that's, you know, look us up, tap in with us, you feel what I'm saying? Um, other than that, you know, I mean, uh, like I say, man, uh, shout out to all my loved ones, man. Shout out to Clemente Callaway, Callaway and Cole, you feel what I'm saying? One Big Family ENT, got it ENT. Uh, man, you know, lift on, but I ain't going to do you like that. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that, that that that's what it is, man. Just check me out on all streaming platforms, T Y Fly Camp. Oh, I got merchandise, you feel what I'm saying? So check it out. You know what I'm saying? I got the Wadaduski Babalooski hat. You know what I'm saying? I got the T Y Fly, the Outcome One on One shirts, and the TFC music shirts. So like I say, tap in, more merchandise coming out. You feel what I'm saying? That's getting better with everything that God has allowed me to do. So like I say, man, I'm, I'm trying to really put it out there like it's supposed to be. Yeah.